uh, so many kids are for the first time on this travel team, and I think some of them were intimidated coming into it. And uh, we have one of our coaches, an excellent coach, but known for being very instructional, and I think they were you know, nervous. But he started them right off with learning these cheers and these little gimmicky things to get them chanting and, and uh, to loosen them up to begin with right away. And they do it in practice. That's part of the practice now every every week is these little chants and cheers that build the team spirit and uh, I think it's built a good atmosphere and it's relaxed from the beginning. Okay, cool. So that was a coach doing that. Is he, does he also have to be a parent, do you know? No. Well, yeah, he's a parent of other kids, not on our team. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much for getting us started. Who's next? Thank you. Uh, what are those words?
does it have to be that way? Should it, should it change the travel ball? Yes, the reason it's more common in the house league is because you know the other players. Good point. And they may, may have been on your kids' team before. Or it might be in the next year. And the travel ball, there's strangers. I hear cheers, but a very good player, a yeah. very good hit is made. And they acknowledge it, but to, to cheer every single player uh, is, is not common. Not common? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, will, I don't want you to misunderstand me. I wasn't saying, hey, when you guys go out there for travel ball, you should cheer for every player at least once during the game. I'm not saying that. Uh, it, 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 it is interesting to me how, um, you know, T-ball uh, seems to have a certain culture around it, and how as we progress in age and perceived level of competition, how this uh, idea of supporting all the kids does tend to diminish. And I think when you go watch the Oakland A's, I don't think you have to, be, you have to cheer for the Red Sox when you're watching the A's, okay? Um, but clearly, that's professional baseball, we're not. And so, uh, what happens at the A's games, the Giants games, certainly is not gonna be our model for arena baseball. Okay, well thanks for sharing uh, uh, some of that stuff with me. Uh, you know, this organization I work with, uh, we do what we do because we love sports, we believe in the power of sports, and we think kids can get so much out of playing sports. And we think families can get so much out of this youth sports experience. And we recognize that the culture, the atmosphere around the games, the enjoyment, the enjoyment by the players, the enjoyment by the umpires, the enjoyment by the coaches, and the enjoy enjoyment by other parents is affected by, by you all, okay? What you bring to the table, uh, what, what you contribute uh, to the overall experience. Um, PCA is a nonprofit organization. We were founded at Stanford University. Uh, we now partner with organizations around America. Ringer Baseball is one of about uh, 1,500 youth sports organizations around the country that bring PCA in for this type of training. Uh, we can't do it alone. Fortunately, we have great supporters and sponsors, uh, corporate support, and some national government bodies that have embraced this model for their organization. Uh, we're fortunate that we've attracted uh, the support of some nationally famous coaches and athletes. Um, this is just a sampling of PCA's National Advisory Board. We have over 100 National Advisory Board members. I, I know a couple of the pictures are dim, but if you recognize any coach or athlete, can you call out a name? Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson. Shane Battier. Yeah. Dusty. Dusty. Okay, you guys are the guys, right? Yeah. Okay, that's a teammate of Mia Hammond. You wouldn't know because the picture's so dim. Uh, Julie Fowley. Who, who was a teammate of Mia Hamm on our World Cup champion team. Julie was actually the captain of that team. Uh, how about Summer Sanders, Summer Sanders, yeah. that Summer Sanders? Did she accomplish anything in sports? Yeah. Know a little bit about winning a championship, multiple Olympic gold medal winning swimmer. And the other female was Jennifer Azey, who is an Olympic gold medal basketball player for the USA and is currently the head women's basketball coach at the University of San Francisco. Anybody recognize this coach? Anybody recognize the jacket she's wearing? That's Kappa Lindo. Is that a rival from? Oh, okay. <laughs> but you don't recognize her. Because she's not, unlike, unlike the other seven, Kim Everett is not nationally famous. However, she is a model positive coach, what we call a double goal coach. And she was honored a couple years ago by PCA for the way she coaches. And we are holding her up, uh, along with some other model double goal coaches, as examples for other coaches around the country. Because as pleased as we are, and as important as it is to us to have the support of the nationally famous coaches, this movement, the positive coaching movement, is not about professional athletes and Olympians. It's about you, your kids, and the wonderful people that are giving their time to coach your kids this season. Uh, I mentioned that 